Welcome to JMC Bikes, guys. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how many times in your life have you just tried to get something accomplished or you're trying to make a friend or you're trying to get somewhere in life, whether it's in school, with your friends, your family, or just something you they just pops up in your mind and you're uncertain of yourself. I just don't know if I can handle it anymore. I just don't feel like I fit in. I'm, I'm kind of wondering what that person thinks or, or did I do the right thing today? Or I could have done better on this or maybe I should have changed that. You know, doubt. Well, in Psalm 119, verses, verse 113, that Psalm 119, 113 says, I hate anyone whose loyalty is divided, but I love your law. See, God has placed before us an amazing opportunity. Let's look actually at Jesus' side of this before I get into any further. John 20 27, and this is when he says to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand in my side. Stop doubting and have faith. And, and I sit here and I think about this. Why do we as Christians have this issue with doubt? And it's quite simple. The devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy anything that has to do with our life. While, yes, at some point we all will die one day, how we live is what matters most right now. And for those of you who are already saved and already are Christians, this is a big obstacle for a lot of people. So what does the Bible also say about doubt? Let's look at Psalm 32.8. That's Psalm 32.8. It says, the Lord says, I will teach you the way you should go. And I will instruct you and advise you. How many times have we seek the counsel of others? Our friends, our family, our classmates, leadership. And the advice doesn't line up with the word of God. What happens is we end up failing to fulfill what Christ wants to put into our lives today. When we learn to seek Jesus Christ, doubt will come and doubt can be defeated. I'm not saying you're not going to have a bad day. I'm not saying you're not going to have a hard time. I'm not saying you're not going to cry and you're not going to get upset and you're not going to get angry. I'm saying that through your spirit man, not in your flesh, your flesh is weak, your flesh is going to fail, your flesh is going to give up because it already has. It's, it's something that you will fight daily. But through Christ Jesus, you can overcome the doubts in your lives. And sometimes it's an instantaneous thing. Others, it takes months and years. But if you are continually seeking after the Lord, day in, day out, regardless if you fall down, it's a matter about getting back up today. So I challenge you to rise and walk and walk through your doubt to the other side where Christ wants to take you. This has been James C. Bites.